think I only want this the icon thing and I want to play uh, Shulk. Yeah. How is he? Why, does, why do all Shulk players do that? Like, take that skin? It's like, well, to be fair, a lot of his skins suck. So, Truly, like, we're like... rushing out here. What's up, what's up, Alex? My dad, it's really your dad. The people on stream. Ah, Foxy Green. Oh, this is best of five now. Oh, best of five. Let's go. This is winner's side top eight. Foxy Grandpa. What was that? Um, I don't even know what this is. That's not the Galaga ship, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Like, what did that Galaga ship interaction do? It looks great. Oh, down. no! I think Sabaya is going to immediately go to Ice yeah, I definitely think Sabah should. I mean, he, he's just looking to get some Shulk experience, because yeah. he's been playing this character like a week. Yeah, I understand that. A decent Shulk player is alright, I'm just not personally playing this character. I think there are a few characters I really dislike, Shulk, Joker being two of them, mostly. And I've never truly met a good or well uh, Shulk player, mm -hmm. because, I'm sorry, if you ever come across a Shulk, play for it. Play Kirby, take his Monado out with Buster, <laughs> and then just down air non stop. You will funny. whack up damage. That's. Oh! Yeah. Mm. What was that? A... That was a roar, right? Yeah, that was a roar back air. Yeah, that was That funny. was funny. Especially with the. Oh, that skin looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Man. The issue with Shulk, I feel, is he's so reliant on his arts that it doesn't matter how much disjointed hitboxes he has on everything else. Without the arts, he's garbage. Right. Which I understand saying without a character's gimmick is bad, but like, there are plenty of characters that you don't need their gimmick to be good. Like, uh, for instance, Ridley's gimmick is his skewer, but you barely see the skewer come out. Yeah, that makes sense. A I lot guess. of Fire Emblem characters' gimmick is they're all sword fighters with a counter. Half of them don't use counter. Like, you may have used counter twice in your entire set. And so, I feel a character like Soul, you have to kind of be a rat with the gimmick in order to do good, but say here, pulling out the fucking ice climbers, and we're gonna hopefully see some Yeah, Seba has been good against Foxy as ice climbers before. Like, these, Seba's... Interesting Z uh, interaction with that. Seba has beat, oh? um, oh, okay. Seba's beat Foxy, like, Seba's on our PR. He's a very experienced player, so. Oh, oh. no! Dude, right when I said it, bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> Seba making me look like a moron. Oh, mana getting targeted out here. Pac-Man's got That's a hit up. list. Pac-Man's got a vendetta. <laughs> I know she's using the orange a lot. Aren't there any better options for him? Or... Oh, bro? Yeah. Oh, Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of Yeah, this is Winter Semi. That's a five. It is top. Well, it's within top 12. It's like, because on the Smash CG, like, there's 12. It's a separate, like, graphic. Like, yeah. That will be on screen. I imagine it will. Yeah, I can play Spencer next. Yeah, 
Yeah, for having such an unfortunate start to the game, Sip is not doing too bad bringing this guy. Yeah, that was a good boost thing. I mean, this is so doable for Sip, but like, you, I don't, did you see stop one? He basically has to eat a zero. Ice Bombers. Just Ice Bomber things, you know? Oh, it's hard. Whoa! Whoa! That was so weird. Oh, he's gotta go save her. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. If that if that would have hit him fully, we might have seen some kind of desync like bear combo like throw uh grab bear up the way. Okay, normally I have faith in the the single climber, but against Pac-Man, this is gonna be rough. Yeah. Whoa! Wait, I thought that I thought that was gonna hit This is the I vividly remember a set between these two where it was Sable reverse 3 0 Foxy and it took literally like an hour, so. We could be in Sable. it for the long haul, but we'll see. It took like an hour. Was it a stream set or like. Yeah, it was on stream. How long was it? That? Not that long, like two months maybe? It was pretty recent. It was. Yeah. They all go to like Town of City every time. They're just camping each other, bro. Game five. Yeah, they, they got the same. Fox, I think Foxy has probably some of the best hands out of everybody in Springfield. I agree. That's like one of his best things, yeah. He has the most experience. He has that patience. That game is that kind of character where you can just, you just kind of do that. You just can't wait your, your, your opponent out. Exactly. And just, and just throw your things to your other setup. I, I truly thank Foxy Grandpa. Foxy Grandpa and Pac-Man, they're like the same person now. Right? Yeah. I feel like he's just so linked to Pac-Man and Smash. But like, he, he played Pac-Man and Smash 4, too. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like me and Snake. Like, yeah, exactly. I this one time, was right after, right before, after Smash Ultimate came out. I had this weird dream. I was just, I, I think I was. A premonition, you know. Either a premonition or a dream or a <laughs> vision or something. And, um, is it, is it like this big tournament? Like the setting of it kind of felt like the atmosphere of the Xanadu games place in there. Uh huh. And, um, I was flat in the dark and there were lights and stuff. And, um, but in the dream, I wasn't like me. I was like in the body of Solid Snake, but it proceeded from my mind. It's really weird. Whoa. Actually, Did you know. feel... That sounds crazy. Are you... What like if that was you in like another... Another round? Oh, dude. Did you see the new... New, uh, new, uh... Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange? I haven't seen it yet. No. I well, haven't. It's kind of about... About that. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, Multiverse of Madness. Um... I don't know. This is... The plot is really good. I don't really like a, a lot of it. Sorcery and witchcraft is in it, but I mean that's kind of how it goes with Doctor Strange and the <laughs> spells and, and Scarlet Witch kind of beat me out. I'm like, so it seemed like she she wanted to do some, something good out of it, but um, no spoilers. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I won't spoil it. I respect your opinion, but I thought I thought the plot was probably the best part of it. The first to play was alright. The adult was playing definitely the best out of all of them. And the adult style was just total. I mean, I mean, I love how you're describing this movie. It's so good. And then that other girl, like, why did they have that name for it? It didn't really make sense. And then, like, the whole plot behind, you know, what happened to him was bad. It didn't really make sense. It didn't really like. Uh, 
like, it was all right. So I mean, I'm sure they're gonna have like other movies after the sequels. Yeah, I mean, I, I maybe. Like, a... I wish the plot was terrible. It was more of just like confusing. And yeah. It really didn't make much sense. Yeah, I think they'll probably have some prequels too to kind of give the more more Hopefully. background. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I've already heard people saying like they were so. Confusing. Yeah. It was, it was all right. I always like that Asian. Like, that is no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always cool. Don't use my favorite. <laughs>